Good evening, welcome to Prime Time News. I am Anupama Swarna. Right now, the headlines: 42 percent in increase are underweight. WCD minister informed in Parliament. First time three Indians in last eight. Sindhu Magic in World Badminton. Janaspandan officials inspected problems, but they could people hope deep freeze. Polyclinics at Vamanjur and Ullal help Minister U.T. Kadar. Land mafia behind a Dodi plant, Minister Abhay Chandra suspects. Forest land encroachment, notice issued to Kallar Kabat. Pocket trapped at Tokkoto, beaten black and blue by public. Brazilian hair business trades well in Namibia. Parliament was informed 42% children under 5 years of age in India are underweight. While in urban areas, 32.7% were underweight. In rural India, the corresponding figure was 45.6%. Giving this information in the Rajya Sabha, Women and Child Development Minister Krishna Thirath said that around 35% of women in the age group of 15 to 49 years suffer from chronic energy deficiency, which is measured as low body mass index. CED in urban areas was present in 25% of women and in rural areas it was present in 40.6% women. Thirath said the problem of malnutrition was complex, multidimensional and intergenerational in nature and cannot be improved by a single sector alone. The causes include inadequate consumption of food, frequent infections, lack of availability of safe drinking water and proper sanitation, illiteracy in women and poor access to health services, she said. India's PV Sindhu stunt defending champion Yihang Wong of China to reach the quarterfinals of the World Badminton Championships along with compatriot Sainan Hewal and Parupali Kashyap at Guangzhou. It was a fantastic day for Indian badminton as three Shetlers reached the last eight for the first time and a step away from a medal. Sindhu World number 12 caused the biggest upset of the tournament so far by knocking out second seed Yihan. The London Olympics silver medalist in 55 minutes in the women's singles third round at the Tihane Indoor Stadium. Third seed Saina overcame a jittery start to win against Thai prom tip Burana Prasutuk while Kashyap seeded 13th advanced to the men's singles quarters, beating Hong Kong 6th seed Yon Ho in 37 minutes. Sindhu, who had lost to Yuhan in their only encounter previously at the Sudirman Cup in May, fought hard in the first game. The Indian managed to take a 12 9 lead before Yihan levelled at 6. Thereon, Sindhu used a high to her advantage by dropping the shuttle regularly at the net, enabling her to take the game. The 18 year old raced to a 13-7 lead in the second game. But the defending champion wasn't going to give in easily and recover to make it 17-19. Sindhu clinched the next point to have three match points in a kitty. But the 25-year-old Chinese found legs to not just knock off the three points and reach game point. However, the Hyderabadi clocked back by first leveling and then taking the next two points to back the match in straight games. Sindhu next faces another Chinese in seventh seat Shizian Wong, I cannot explain how I am feeling right now. I just went into the match with the determination to give my 100% and I am really happy to have pulled off this victory, said Sindhu. As per the latest reports, both Saina and Parupali Kashyap were crossed out in today's quarter finals. Department of Personal and Administrative Reforms, Jana Spandana Cell Secretary Parmesh Pandey visited Bhatte Kudru within the Halkadi Gram Panchayat limits and reviewed the ongoing developmental projects. He came down heavily on the officials who are yet to submit proposal for construction of a road by the riverside at Bhatte Kudru. The locals have long agreed to donate their land for the road construction but the officials have been delayed lying in drafting the proposal. 
When Pandey questioned them about the proposal in the presence of the villagers, the officials had no valid answer. Upset by officials' lethargic attitude, Pandey ordered them to draft the proposal at the earliest and have it sent to Kansan Department for government approval. The villagers also made him aware of various problems they have been facing, such as drinking water problem, plight of school-going children during the monsoon season and during floods. The officials who had accompanied Parmesh Pandey then assured that they would look into these issues and shall resolve them in the coming days. The villagers drew his attention towards a drinking water well dug up for supplying drinking water to the village. However, owing to poor quality of the work, the well is rendered useless. An acute drinking water problem of the village is yet to be addressed. At this point, Pandey said that he would visit the village again after a year and ordered the officials that all the problems raised by the villagers must be resolved by then. Zilla Panchayat CEO S.A. Prabhakar Sharma, Zilla Panchayat Engineering Division Junior Engineer Keshav Gaura, Taluk Panchayat CEO Gopal Shetty, TP Engineer Basavalingaya, Hakladi GP President Kishore Ganiga, Zilla Panchayat Member Indira Shetty also accompanied. We'll be back after a short commercial break. Polyclinics at Vamanjur and Ullal Health Minister UT Kadar. Land Mafia behind a Dodi plant, Minister Abhay Chandra suspects. Forest land encroachment, notice issued to Kalad Kabat. Pickpocket trapped at Tokkotu, beaten black and blue by public. Brazilian hair business trades well in Namibia.